Hi everyone, I am back and today I'm going to be doing a haul on the Tuli Beach collection. I went to a mailing event last night. I only got three products, but also got some things that are not from that collection. So I'll be sharing with you that as well. And um, this collection has 31 items, so I'm obviously not going to buy everything. And it's the first time I actually went and splurged at MAC. Um, I've only ever bought one other product. It's a face product. I mentioned on my blog that I wasn't too happy about it. But yeah, I really like the products I got last night. And if you want to have the full details of everything in this collection, check out Temptalia.com. All the information is there. Um, she posts everything there, the girl that is, owns Temptalia.com. And as well, a lot of the products are repromotes, meaning they're from previous collections, and some are permanent items. Obviously, it's just, just different packaging. So if you already have those products, you can check your stash, then you don't have to buy the stuff from this collection. Alright, so this is what the packaging looks like. This is what the stuff I got, and I'm very excited to be sharing with you. But before I get to the very exciting part of the thing, is to tell you what an unveiling event is, if you've never been to a MAC unveiling event. It's usually a week or two before the MAC um, new collection comes out, and you can sign up. It's a two hours, and you can sign up every half hour. There's a slot for you to sign up to go in to buy products. And when you go in, they give you a card like this. It has all the products on there. As you can see, there's a lot of products for this collection. And they mark which ones you want. And then um, you can go to the counter when you pay for it. Um, this is a Mac store, so when you go to the um, checkout counter, um, they will pick out the items for you. And in the back, you can um, other items that are not in the collection, you can write them there. As well, there was guys there that were giving um, making necklaces. They were giving them out for free. Um, and um, I really like the one I chose. Um, the lineup was pretty long, so I was thinking whether I should go and get it, but at the end, the lineup died down, and I was like, I must go there, I'm going to this unveiling party, I'm not getting, I'm not going to go and get a free necklace, like, what's the deal with that? And these looks really pretty, so I got one with a shell and a wooden block, and this thing, these ones, they have different colors, like green and orange, to match the collection, and it's just made out of this material, I have no clue what this material is, but it's a really long necklace, and it's good to wear to the beach, a very long dress. And they also be, uh, gave out uh, um, free uh, like um, finger food and things like that, as well as this drink. I don't know, it's a virgin drink, and it's kind of sweet. It's, it's kind of clear, and it's a small cup like this. It's a small cup like this. And the rim of the cup is like when you do sugar scrub for your lip, it's like that sugar scrub is on the corner, on the rim of the cup. So I want you to tell me if you know what kind of drink that is to comment below because I don't know what that kind of drink is. And it tastes so good and it's sweet and it's nice and it's a virgin drink so there's no alcohol in it. Alright, so let's get started on the haul because you guys all been waiting. Um, and they have two um, color in their packaging. They have orange and green. Eyeshadows are green packaging. And this is the only eyeshadow I got and they have a shell in the middle. It's really pretty. And the packaging itself is really smooth. It's not like their regular single eyeshadows. It's really smooth. And this one is in Firecracker. It's a Velux Pearl. And it's so pretty, you see. I'm really into my neutral colors, but I just branched out. And this is the perfect pop of color. You can use it on the lower lash line, the corners of your eyes, or like a little crease color. And this is um, a Velux Pearl, which is shimmery metallic with high shine pearl. I don't find it too shimmery. It's good. It's not too overpowering. And it's a really nice color. It's a corally... What is it? It's an orange coral red. So it's not red, it's not orange. It's kind of a mix. It's kind of a coral. It's a really nice color. And that's Firecracker. Next, I have a lipstick, which I have on my lips right now, which is, it's a luster formulation. It's Lazy Day. And I love their packaging. There's a shell on there. You can see it's orange packaging. And um, this one is kind of similar to Angel Lipstick. If you ever tried Angel Lipstick, I have not. So I don't know how exact of a dupe it is. But it's supposed to be a milky cool tone pink similar to Angel, and this this one is not like a pink, like some light pinks are so light it makes your lips white, um, Lollipop26 recently got a lipstick from a high-end brand, I forgot what brand it was, but it made her lips really white, and I was kind of scared about that, but I tried at the store like one, one coat of it, it looks really really pretty and I really like it. And um, I don't, I'm not into the whole pink lipstick, you know, like bright pinks and different things. I'm into my neutrals, my, my new lipsticks, but this one I, I really like, so I really def definitely recommend it. And again, it's like a luster formulation. It's called Lazy Day. Next one I have is a lip uh, glass. I don't know what formulation it is, but it's quite sheer one. It's an uh, easy lounger. It's quite a sheer color. And it's like this, and their lip glasses have a seahorse on them. And look so pretty it has like the silver shimmers and it's pink but it's really sheer so it's really good for overall lipstick and it says to be a sheer light baby pink with silver shimmer so 
that's what it is. Next is from the Liberty of London collection. I was in the bandwagon back then um, when it came out in March, so I didn't get anything from that collection but except a lip gloss, which I caught last night. It is the, one of the only ones left there. It's pre, perennial high style. I love their packaging, but this one is just white. I don't know. I think it's a cream formulation, and inside it has like flowers. It's so pretty. Oh, and this is even prettier. Look, it's a clear container with like little birds and flowers. It's so pretty, and it is a creamy, bright pink coral. It doesn't go on as bright as this, so don't worry about it. I when I first saw it, when I tried it, it's quite sheer, but it's good sheerness. It's not too sheer, but it's a perfect color for my lips, so you don't have to worry about it being so pigmented as it is on here. And I think it is a cream formula, but it does have a tiny bit of shimmers. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, a lot of all the MAC lip gloss and lipsticks have um, the vanilla scent, so it's really great. And last but not least is the Luster Glass. It is Juicy Star 07's favorite Luster Glass. That's the, not only the reason why I got it. She mentioned it in her MAC starter kit. But, um, I wanted to try a luster glass out and this is the perfect perfect color it is love nectar it is a love nectar and it is the perfect color it is not too um nude and not too pink so it's the perfect color and it's supposed to be um an ultra soft apricot with pearl and i love the shimmers and i like how luster glasses have that sort of a shimmer that lip glasses don't have that's why i love it i will do a video on the comparison between a luster glass and a lip gloss and my take on it so don't worry about that this is what it looks like and yeah so i hope you enjoy this haul it's not too much of a rambling haunt i anyways um enjoy the video and enjoy your day and i'll see you next time bye for now